if you want to see a wrestling match, this is the wrong one to watch. If you want a war, you've got it. All across America and now Canada, these two men have waged war, and Brody wants, wants to send Bulldog Bob Brown to the hospital, and what a monster this man is. He is absolutely awesome. There is no question about it. The most dangerous, most unpredictable force in professional wrestling anywhere in the world is Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody, Bulldog Brown, the one that all Canada has waited for. Oh, look at this Brody. I'll tell you something, when he turns it on, you are in dire straits. Mick, he doesn't stop. He does not stop from the, the opening bell, and many times he doesn't stop when the match is over. Brody is Devastation Incorporated. Absolutely he is. Look at him, look at that face of Bruiser Brody. I don't know that you'd want to meet him in a dark alley or a lit up alley or anywhere. Well, there have been many rivalries in professional wrestling over the years, but the feelings between Bulldog Brown and Bruiser Brody, I'll tell you something, plain English, they just plain don't like each other. You know, Bulldog Bob Brown is the Central States champion. He's tough as nails, a true veteran of the ring, and he had a lot of nasty things to say about Bruiser Brody. Whether or not he can back him up, I don't know, but look at him. He is tenacious. He is a brawler in his own right, and right above our microphone. It is Bulldog Bob Brown turning it on right now. You couldn't ask for two bigger, tougher brawlers. Look at this Bulldog. He is taking the match to Bruiser Brody right now and fighting. Fighting the big man. I don't think he ain't before the matches. Bruiser Brody, he's down, but he's not out. into a boot in the chest area. And now Bob Brown grabs a hold of the nose, the eyes. Oh, this is a brawl. This match could headline any arena in the world. My hats are off to promoter Cody Condello. The match of the century. Brody Brown, look at this. Out on the floor goes Bulldog Bob Brown. And that makes King Kong Brody king of the hill. He's got some company. Inside the ring, the Bulldog does, because here comes Bruiser King Kong Brody, following him around the ring like a tiger, stalking its prey. I get a little worried when they're by our table here. Second they are right by our microphone. Oh! Oh, my God! Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a little nervous right here. Hey, he's Look at the chair. He's a chair. Oh, right in the stomach. Bulldog Bob Brown using a chair on the King Kong. in of the ring. Oh, my. This is, this is unbelievable. But look at Brody. He's up again. The man was hit with a chair. He's back up at all. Oh, right over the top rope. The referee apparently didn't see it, and now he begins to count on Bruiser Brody outside the ring. We knew this was going to be a brawl. There isn't an arena in the world big enough to contain these two wild men. Bulldog Bob Brown, the Central United States heavyweight champion. We're outside. Oh, oh. Turnbuckle, turnbuckle. He caught the steel post on that, George. Right into the post. Brown just doesn't let up. He is in the ring with the master brawler, though, and nobody but nobody in the whole world pushes Bruiser Brody around. Oh, man! Oh, he kicked a 60-yard field goal that time. Look, Look at this, this toe-to-toe, slogging away. That's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. The referee has disqualified Bruiser Brody. This time he saw the over-the-top rope. And I'm telling you, it's not over. 
nervous to say the least. I don't know how long they were in the ring, but I'll tell you something, they packed more action than I have seen in a long, long time. That was an absolute war. fans I have just witnessed one of the most brutal matches in all my years of wrestling the man I'm calling in here right now Bulldog Bob Brown uh, I, I don't even know how to describe the match you just had with Bruiser Brody why don't you just shut up and I'll tell you what happened now you know you know throughout the career of uh, big star big brutal guy Bruiser Brody the people got the hate Matter of fact, he's the most hated man in the United States of America. Well, the people at the Winnipeg Arena started cheering him. He even became a real maniac then. Ask me, I could tell just, you... Just a minute, Mr. Brown. I saw you throw this man over the top rope. I didn't throw him over the top rope. He went over the top rope on his own. And I'm glad the referee didn't see it. When he came back in the ring, the guy is crazy. He's a maniac anyways. Anytime you see Bruiser Brody, he's a killer. He's killer instinct, and when I tell you killer instinct, the guy will go out and win at any cost. Well, I was just that much smarter than Bruiser Brody. He sent me sailing over the top rope, and I got a great victory, and I got the winner's share of the money. It's my opinion he had the best of you in this match. Well, you, it may be, in your sense, it may be the best thing that you ever saw, but what have you saw in your lifetime? You're a TV commentator, you stay that way, and if you want wrestling explained, ex Ask the real guy to explain it to you because I know every major thing in professional wrestling and I just showed you what I'm capable of doing. Bruiser Brody threw the kitchen sink at me, hit me over the head with a chair, hit me over the back. I still survived and came back to win. So that adds it all up. And if Bruiser Brody signs his name along the dotted line once more, I'll give him another lesson of professional wrestling. Two opinions, wrestling fans, definitely different. We have not heard the last of the Bulldog Bob Brown King Kong Brody War. Okay. if there was going to be another match. Yeah, he, he, just, he just witnessed, he, he watched it on television, so whatever comes yeah. up. All-Star Wrestling returning to the Winnipeg Arena September 24th. Mark it on your calendar. Many years, ladies and gentlemen, I have followed professional wrestling. I have never seen a match, if that's what you can call it, like I've just witnessed, between the guy coming in here right now, Bulldog. Let me explain what happened. Everybody at the Winnipeg Arena and everybody in the Midwest, everybody all over Canada saw just exactly what happened. A man outsmarting Bruiser Brody. Now, you know, Bruiser Brody's a great competitor, great athlete. Probably been barred from most arenas in the United States, Japan, Asia, you name it, he's been barred from those buildings. And now I know he's coming back to the Winnipeg Arena. He's coming back here for a purpose. And let me tell you what the purpose is, to have all the people cheer for him. When the people cheer for him, something snaps upstairs and he takes it out on his opponents. Of course, there's something standing in his way, of course, Bulldog Bob Brown. I just don't lay down because Bruiser Brody's in my way. Because I tell you what, I've been brought up the same way as Brody's been brought up. 
rough tumble, you name it, I've been through it all. And when me and Brody ever collide again, I tell you what, it's just be a little example of what I left the last time. Because I tell you what, I think I give him a good shellacking. I withstood the chairs, I withstood the tables, I withstood the ropes, his punches, his kicks. And when you withstand stand all that, you're in pretty good shape and a great competitor. You took the easy way out tonight, Bulldog Brown. You threw the man over the top rope. I took the easy way out. I don't believe ever, ever, ever thrown anybody over the top rope. I do believe one time in the match, he threw me over the top rope and the referee was right on the spot and raised my hand what he should have done in the first place. Turn about his fair play. Brody should have been disqualified for all his actions at the Winnipeg Arena. And let me tell you, it's just the beginning of a long feud. There's no love lost between Brody and Brown. And you, when you get a chance to interview him, and it goes back to Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, you name it, Japan. We've been there. And when you're talking about a brawl, and you're talking about Brody and Brawl, this is just the beginning of a big thing going to happen at the Winnipeg Arena. I'm not finished with him yet. My opinion means anything. He had the best of you in the match tonight. Uh, your opinion means nothing to me. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One opinion differing from mine, of course, Bulldog Bob Brown. The war with him and Bruiser Brody, surely not over. We'll be back. Are you going to be in? Huh? Tell me. Doesn't, however you want. Why don't you stand in? We'll just. Sure. I'll start with Ladies and gentlemen, a back alley brawl would not adequately describe what we have just seen. Bruiser Brody and Bulldog Bob Brown, absolutely unbelievable. Bruiser Brody, where does it all end? Let me tell you something. I know a lot of people aren't aware of this, but I've been in this game a long dang time and beat up a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of time I'm sitting at home and a promoter, he'll call me on the telephone and he'll say, Bruiser Brody, he said, there's a real tough, nasty, mean, you know what, hanging around here. Can you get up here right away? And I say, you bet I can. And I get right up there and I kick him around and beat him up. And sometimes I'm sitting at home and a promoter calls me up and he says, Bruiser Brody, can you get right up here? There's one of them guys about six foot eight and about 350 pounds and he's up here just running everything he wants to run. Can you get up here right away? And I say, you bet I can. And I come right up there and I kick him around. Excuse me, Bruiser Brody, if I might interject something. According to Bulldog Bob Brown, he kicked you all Well, over let me here. tell you something about the Bulldog. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't care if they're tough and I don't care if they're big. I don't have no complaints about kicking a little guy around either. The easiest way for a guy to make a reputation in this business is to beat up a little guy, a real tiny little guy, because they're easy to beat up. So I'm telling you and I'm telling all those people who are looking at me right now, Bulldog Bob Brown's a real little squatty frog-like pain in the you-know-what. And I beat up tough ones, and I beat up big ones, and I don't mind beating up little ones. So Bulldog Bob Brown, I'm inviting everybody who's looking at me right now to get over to the arena, get a close seat, because I'm going to open up one of these cracks on the top of your head. You know, one of these where the skin folds back, and I'm going to start hammering on it. And if you think you're little and scrawny and short now, you wait until you get on the end of about 10 of these. You'll really be short. Ladies and gentlemen, where will it all end? There isn't an arena in the world that could hold these two, Bulldog Bob Brown and Bruiser Brody. <laughs> You want to do another one? Oh. You have any voice left? That's a goddamn lie, too. <laughs> <laughs> there, do another one. <laughs> uh, did, did he do two or one, Bob? He did Brown. Two. Wow. Okay. You do two. Thanks for spinning on it. Can I do another one? I don't know. You tell me. It doesn't. We can use it. Okay. Right. Fine. Yeah. <clears throat>
Ladies and gentlemen, they were in the ring, they were under the ring, they were in the seats. Bulldog Bob Brown and Bruiser Brody putting on one of the wildest matches I have ever seen. And Bruiser Brody, according to Bob Brown, you were all over the arena, you were on the losing end of the stick tonight. I was on my back when Bob Brown was hitting me with that iron chair, right? Is that what you're trying to say? You're, you're asking me if Bob Brown actually had Bruiser Brody laying on his back on the concrete, pounding me with a steel chair. Is that what you're asking me? Well, the man says that he outsmarted you, I guess is the term that he used. Let's get something clear. I know me and you are going to be good friends for a long time. Yes. A long time. A lo long time. And I know the people out here, we're going to be good friends for a long time. But I want to tell you something. We ain't going to be good friends if you're going to clean them ears out and be listening to everything the Bulldog has to say, I'm telling you, he's full of bunk. Bulldog Bob Brown, in his best day, never beat Bruiser Brody up. And Bulldog Bob Brown on Christmas Day or his birthday will never beat Bruiser Brody up. So let's get it straight right now. And the next time I'm here, you can invite Bob Brown out while I'm standing here. I won't hit him, I promise. I'll be a gentleman. And I'll tell him to his little stinking face, you go talk that stuff to somebody else. You go try to beat up somebody else. But don't come out here and tell you. I know you're smarter than that. And I know you're smarter than that. Bob Brown better never come out here, especially if I'm within walking distance of the place, and tell anybody anybody that he can beat yours truly up because I will smack him and beat him right here in front of this TV camera. And that's not talk, that's a promise. Ladies and gentlemen, where will it all end? It's bound to be World War III, Bruiser Brody and Bulldog Bob Brown.